Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back again to a whole new video. Enhance your website interactivity with a personalized touch. Learn how to integrate WordPress into your website in 2023. Create a dynamic and engaging chatbot experiences for your visitors. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So the first thing guys that you have to do is to head up to your chatbot or the botpress uh, app or we website. Then the next thing that you need to do is to simply go to the integrations page. Here guys you will have your web chat and here you can find some other integrations as well. Here, if you click on Browse and Hub, you will find all of these different kind of integrations. But there is nothing that actually will allow you um, to add BotPress to a specific website. For example, here you don't have WordPress integrations. You don't have, as an example, um, Wix integrations. So how we can actually connect BotPress to one of these apps? Well, this is where Zapier comes to help. So Zapier is basically an app that will help us to add any app integrations with our BotPress. So using Zapier we can connect for example BotPress to even Discord if you want to. Now let's keep going with this tutorial by opening Zapier as well. So we need to open Zapier as you can see. Then after that you have to install it on your WordPress uh, account so make sure to install it now it is installed so the next thing is here to select the bot and it should be added now for me if I went back to integration app and I went back to the dashboard going back to integration then you will find that Zapier here is actually uh, enabled so make sure guys that you enabled your uh, Zapier connections now after it is enabled basically all you need to do next is to go to your Zapier account and basically click on the app section which is going to be there now there is a lot of websites that you can connect your Zapier into it so for example there is WordPress there is WooCommerce there is Wix Squarespace Etsy there is a bunch of options guys and I'm going to show you with all of them so I will show you like a couple of of examples so let's start with WordPress all you need to do is to search for WordPress click on connect and then this page will be opened for your web WordPress website now as you can see to connect WordPress first you just have to not include this WP admin which will eventually take you to the, the dashboard and to not have uh, a custom URL value for example use https last last example instead of https last last example dot com slash log in and basically all you need to do is go to your zap or dashboard on wordpress and copy your URL which is like over here so you have to copy this uh, URL copy like address and go here paste it in this page and here put your uh, username and password so they can have the access into your WordPress dashboard so basically what they are going to do with this uh, thing is basically install the Zapier app for you and do all the settings by themselves don't worry guys you put in there your information from username and password will not be uh, eventually lead to lose your account or them stealing your uh, data or something like that everything will be high privacy they only need that so they can connect to your dashboard and configure the uh, settings for your Zapier for WordPress plugin on your WordPress website then all you need to do next as I said click on yes continue to WordPress you will eventually need to grant them some access so grant the access to them and you will have your WordPress account connected now to do any integration between your WordPress and your um, Zapier or your WordPress website so simply just go to create a Zap and here you will find this text box where you can create basically a small prompt this prompt will eventually lead you to create uh, a 
like a text which describes what you want to do between multiple apps, for example, between BotPress and WordPress at the same time. So here, for example, I want to, whenever there is something happening on WordPress, do something with BotPress. And yeah, I will let the AI go free with it. I will, I will not limit it with anything. Just do anything. And this is the prompt. So integrate WordPress with BotPress. This is exactly what you are looking for, guys. And it allows us to do that. This is not only applicable on WordPress. This is even applicable, guys. Let me just go back to Wix, for example. So let's click here to the side menu. Click on apps. And here, let me connect to Wix. So I'm going to search for Wix. And here it is. So Wix, click on the first one. Connect. And simply just connect to your Wix dashboard. Choose the site. And do the same thing. It can work also with Squarespace. It can work with Square. It can work with Etsy. There is a bunch of options, guys, that you can go for. Uh, there is also like bunch, bunch of options. And in case you didn't find your own option here, well, then you will have to go for a premium plan. Why? Because in the premium plan, especially the professional, you will be able to add or have a limited premium apps and at the same time to add custom logical path which will allow you eventually to add a custom thing to your Zapier which is basically gonna be your website in your case and this is basically the easiest integration that's gonna be so you just have to go make sure that your botpress is integrated successfully with zapier do not forget guys it, it will, once you install the app it will be like that it will be safe configuration as uh, off so what you have to do is to turn it on and make sure to follow this guide if you didn't understand how to connect Zapier with bot pressure but so you will have to actually uh, follow this tutorial in case you didn't get it but yeah this is like how it's gonna appear in your uh, Zapier account this is exactly what I have shown you in the beginning of this video so it is very easy guys don't worry about it uh, even you find here some codes don't even bother yourself with it it's gonna be a very very easy very straightforward thing just have to click on install and then enable through here and it will be added to your account and yeah guys that was it for today's video if you do have any more questions or any more websites that you have to connect for example i didn't mention in this video you can simply just go to the apps and try to search for these apps in here so it could be very there is many uh, page builders apps uh, on the internet so i can't mention them all but you can try and search for them in this section so hey guys if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section if you don't want me to make any specific topic video make sure to leave it also in the below and see you guys in the next tutorial